are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. If you missed last week's video, we had to take Indy to the vet. She was very ill. She had a, basically she had a twisted intestine and they had to operate. It was a matter of life or death. And she'd been ill for a few days before that and I'd realized that it got worse, so I rushed her in there. And she's had to stay in for six nights. So today is the sixth day that she's been away from us. I've missed her so much. It's been so hard not having her at home and not being able to visit her. It's best that we didn't because if we'd visited her, it would have upset her more every time we left her again. So we haven't been to see her at all. The vet's been sending regular videos, little video updates. She's very, very thin. She's lost a lot of weight, but she's on the mend now. So we are on our way to go and hopefully pick her up. I'm so excited. Let's go and find Indy. Oh. Yeah. My little 
enjoy the show. Mm. You're gonna get all better for me. I love you. The worrying thing is the vet says that this can reoccur, so we've got to be really, really careful with her. In the next month, she's only allowed to eat uh, a special diet, which we've got to go and find now at a shop. And we've got to really watch her like a hawk, everything she does. Torniamo a casa adesso. And before anybody um, mentions it, I can't put her harness on and tie her in her seat because she's got stitches in her tummy and her harness would hurt that. So she's just going to have to sit down. She will. She'll relax in a minute, won't she? Did he ignore you? He didn't say hello to you. Poor puppies. Okay, no nice little tatty puppies. Amore. Good morning. Thought I'd try and bring you along with me today, although I've got a very busy, packed day with all sorts of random things happening. But I thought I would try and film it. This is not a normal day in my life because the first thing that I'm doing this morning is helping out Elizabeth. Elizabeth has a boat company with boat trips along the Amalfi Coast and one of her colleagues has got a day off. So actually two of her colleagues have got a day off because Nicola's got a day off today and I've borrowed his t-shirt <laughs> and uh, figured out the names are similar enough. And so I'm going to give her a hand and get all the boats off to um, on their trips. Then I've got to go and pay insurance for my scooter. Then I've got to drive to Ravello. I've got a wedding in Ravello this afternoon. And this evening, I have a Zoom call with a patron. So for some of my patrons, I offer Zoom calls to talk about their upcoming holiday here and help them plan what they want to do when they get here. So I've got one of those this afternoon or this evening. I'm gonna stop talking now because steps. Not easy with about 15 kilos of makeup on my back. Probably not that much, 10 kilos. Early morning in Positano. Always the best time to be here. Look how quiet it is. First things first, breakfast at the bar. And I have borrowed certain Nicola's t-shirt, so I fit with the crew today. <laughs> Tourist van here is going kayaking while everybody else is working. Pepe is trying to convince Carlo to get a nautical license and come and work for Blue Star. <laughs> Off he goes. Okay. okay, the boys are all in the little boat. They're going off to their respective boats now. Carla is still flapping around on the beach. Which way? Okay. That's fine. So what am I doing this morning down with Elizabeth? Well, she's got five boats going out this morning, I think, um, on Amalfi Coast 
trips and 12 passengers per boat have to be checked in. They have to fill out a form with their name and address and all that stuff and a quick explanation of where the boat trip's going, what they're going to be doing, how long they've got in each place. And there's maybe some boats going to Capri as well, some private boats. And it's just checking everybody in, taking them down to the jetty where the boats will come and pick them up, loading them all onto the boat. And then by 10, half 10, we should be all finished. And then I have to go and pay my insurance and then I have to go to Ravello. And here behind me, customers are starting to arrive, so I better get to work. So we're currently waiting for the Cerecella boat to come in, which is that one there. In the morning, the boats have to queue, there's a queuing system here, so they take it in turns to come in and pick up people. I think it's almost on its way. I'm embarking this couple behind me. They're off to Capri for a day on a little private boat trip. Lovely day out. And it's quite a hot day today as well. Okay. Documents on board. Now we're on board, back to the desk where everybody else is bound to be arriving by now. In fact, there's a whole load of people here. You pay, I think it's a euro to get in. Yeah. Oh, um, so yeah, it's not, that's fine. And you can easily go there. And then just, just off there, there's Via Camarella, which is the shopping street with all the high-end shopping. I'm like the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Of 12 people following me. We have a lot on board. It's getting really, really busy because there's a ferry docking right here next to me now. So there's loads of people coming and going. This is what it's like first thing in the morning here. All the ferries come at the same time. <laughs> and we're done. Everybody is on board. <laughs> yeah, finished? Yeah. And now Elizabeth just has to sit here for a few hours. No, I will have some coffee, my <laughs> office with me. I will open the computer. Later we'll buy an ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Relaxing hours now. And then everybody comes back again around about five o'clock. It gets busy again. But I won't be here for that because I'll be on my way back from Ravello. Mr. Kayak is back. I have paid my insurance for my scooter, which actually ran out on the 7th of May, and today is something like the 16th, and I've just stopped to buy some sunscreen because it is very sunny and hot today, and I've got to drive all the way to Ravello on my scooter, which is going to take about an hour, so I don't want to get burnt, so I will now keep this cream in my scooter for the rest of the summer, and use it every time I go anywhere. Sticky hands. I'm halfway to Ravello, I just stopped off at my favourite little viewpoint just to have a look because I haven't seen it for a while. The sea looks beautiful. Hello Ravello, I have not been here for quite a long time. <laughs> I've just got time for some lunch before I go to work, so I'm going into Babel, my favourite little cafe in Rivella. I haven't done any weddings in Ravello for a couple of years because of COVID, so I couldn't actually remember what I ordered, but I remember there was something that I always had here. I've come in and the owner knows exactly what I like, and here it is. I always go for the spinach and sun-dried tomato salad with some crusty bread.
this is the Villa Maria Hotel where I'm working today. It's got this beautiful entrance here, lovely restaurant overlooking the valley. And now I'm going to find my bride. I'm done for the day with work, now home, a cup of tea and relax. It's terrible. In the last... <laughs> It's a few days later and now there's a freaking aeroplane. It is a few days later. Um, this video is a bit of a muddle because the part where I was working with Elizabeth and going to Ravello was filmed the week before that Indy got ill or maybe while Indy got ill and before we went to the vets. Um, that's why I was wearing a sweater in it. It's actually not sweater weather anymore. It suddenly got very, very hot. In fact, today it's supposed to be 36 degrees. Yesterday it was 38, so rather hot. Anyhow, Indy is doing really well. She's been home for about five days now and we've been keeping a close eye on her and she seems to be back to her normal self. So fingers crossed it won't happen again and now she can grow up and get on with being a lovely puppy, almost a dog now. Carla has been out Hello. picking nests for her. Hello. Wow. Oh. Raccolto more mespole. Wow. E limone? Oh, Perché va a chiesto per questo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lemons and nespole. Nespole are the loquats. That's what we were picking in the beginning of the video. Hello, you. Are you a beautiful little puppy? Oh, come and say hello. Do you want to come and say hello? Whoopa! Here we go. Here she is. A little bit skinny. She's lost about a kilo and a half, but we'll put that back on. She's on a special diet now of um, everyone's going to ask. So Royal Canin gastrointestinal puppy is what she's eating. No treats, poor little thing. Yeah? Are you happy? You're home. Si, sì, sta bene adesso. Yeah. Adesso è, è felice. Sta Can bene? Let me get that. Ed è molto energetica. Yes. Um, Vuoi sedere? No, no, no. Okay. In the last few weeks, we have bumped into lots and lots of people that watch our videos. And um, it's been really lovely to meet so many of you, yes. to put so many faces to the, the un, un, I don't know how to say it in English. Sì, no, ok, lo dico in italiano e poi tu fai la traduzione. Okay. Uh, è bello vedere uh, persone e dare un, un viso, una faccia a voi, perché noi leggiamo i commenti. Però non ho un viso davanti ed è bello vedere yeah. un viso. It's been really nice to meet a lot of you to recognize names and finally meet people. Uh, um, what you've got to remember is we show about 25 minutes, maybe half, maybe an hour. Let's say we show an hour of our week on social media and the rest of the time we just get on with real life, which is pretty much what we show anyway, but the most boring parts. And so often when I'm going out, I don't even think about the fact that I make videos and maybe I'm going walking around town and in my head I'm compiling a shopping list or I'm thinking about what I've got to do later. And suddenly somebody stops me and says, Nikki, and I freeze. <laughs> and then I get the doubt because then I'm like, is it somebody from here? Is it somebody I used to know? Is it an old teacher? Is it somebody from school? Is it some bride that I did last year? And I always have that doubt whether it's somebody that I'm supposed to recognize. Um, so sometimes I might look a bit shocked or a bit surprised when somebody stops me, but it just means that I'm not there in the moment. Um, and I've got to get used to it really, I suppose, but it's lovely to meet you all. And we really, really appreciate the feedback that we've had from everybody. Sì, sì, che siamo stati di aiuto per passare il loro periodo di Covid chiusi in casa o comunque confinati in un'area ristretta e questo anche se noi non volevamo fare questo ci apprezzate per questo e noi possiamo solo dire grazie noi mm. a voi per guardarci 
e perseguirci. Yeah, thank you to everybody who watches and who's been watching and everybody who's taken on our suggestions and done things that we've suggested. That is wonderful to hear when people say, oh, I came here because you suggested it and I went to this restaurant or I went and did that hike because you suggested it. That is amazing to hear. So we really, really appreciate all the feedback we get, especially when we meet you guys around town. And, um, and excuse me if I'm not always 100% present if I do get stopped. <laughs> That's just me. E se venite a Positano e ci incontrate, non siate troppo timidi, perché come diceva Niki, uh, ci incontrate magari dite solo hello e noi possiamo pensare magari a qualcuno che abbiamo conosciuto l'altro giorno e non, non ci ricordiamo o, o l'anno scorso. Non siate timidi, e, ditelo. Di, noi mm. ti seguiamo mm. su YouTube mm. e è un piacere incontrarvi, yeah. non lo so. And re remember that we are only human beings. Che potrebbe capitare che noi siamo impegnati a fare qualcos'altro e magari potete pensare che state disturbando. Non lo so, dipende dal caso. Ma comunque voglio dire, se ci vedete impegnati in qualcosa, potete comunque venire. Non, non è un problema per noi, vero? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, there was just one... Puoi andare a Sì, io vado a fare altre cose. <laughs> there was one instance a few years ago where I was in a foul mood. I was in... I'd had such a bad day. I was supposed to be doing a wedding trial in Sorrento and I'd stayed home and I was ready to haul my makeup bag up to 500 steps and drive to Sorrento and I got a last minute cancellation and the bride didn't, I don't know, the bride was going to be late or whatever happened and it was cancelled. So I dropped everything, put my swimsuit on, walked down to the beach, 1,200 steps, dragged my kayak out into the sea and kayaked off to Laurita, which is about a mile along the coast, I think. And just as I arrived, my phone rang and the bride had changed her mind. She wanted a trial. The wedding planner was calling me saying, you need to get to Sorrento now. I said, I can't. I'm, I've, I've left home. I've kayaked down the coast. I'm in my swimsuit. I haven't got my makeup kit. I don't care. You need to get to Sorrento now. And I had to kayak back that mud. That was the, and it was about 35 degrees. It was hot like it is today. I kayaked as fast as I could. It took me 20 minutes to get back to the beach. And I was thinking, oh my God, now I've got to get up 1,200 steps. I've basically got to run up a mountain, get my makeup kit from home, climb another 500 steps up to where my scooter is and drive 45 minutes to Sorrento. And I just thought this is gonna kill me. As I was trying to pull my kayak up, now you've got to picture this, the beach in summer is packed, absolutely packed. And it's very, very hard to pull a kayak between all the people. They won't move, they're sunbathing, they don't want to be disturbed. And they're annoyed with me for pulling my kayak up the beach. I can't lift it, it's far too heavy for me to lift it. So I have to drag it up the beach. And I was having real difficulty getting it back to where I keep it. And as I got to where I was keeping it, there was three people there and I asked them to just move and they wouldn't, and I asked again, and they wouldn't, and at one point the guy said, speak English. So I, at that point I lost it and I went, move! <laughs> and, and then my kayak got wedged between two boats and I couldn't unwedge it, and it was just an absolute nightmare. And I was huffing and puffing and I was swearing and getting worse and worse, and eventually one of the girls turned around and she said, I think I follow you. Is your name Nikki Positano? At that point, I went, no, <laughs> dropped my kayak <laughs> and stumped off, stumped off up towards home. I don't remember the rest of the day, but that stuck in my mind for ages. And a few months later, I got a message from the girl saying, you can't behave like that anymore. People recognize you. You've got to give a good impression. And I apologized to her and said, look, I was having a really bad day and just lost it. Um, and I just want to say that to prove that I'm only human and I can be extremely grumpy, especially if I'm driving and there's somebody bad or slow driving in front of me. I'm not a pleasant person to be around. But we love meeting all you guys when you come here. It's been really fun to get to know a load of you. And I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, um, oops! That was Indy. Come here! She just decided that the tripod was the place to sit on. So thanks a lot for watching and um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. It always helps us out a load. And we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye.